Okay, this is the How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days reunion that I always wanted. (laughs) (laughs) Your love for it didn't die. You let it die. How does it feel to be back together? Our love for it didn't die. Our love for it never died. It never died. Not this one. What type of memories did it just dredge up kind of being back together on set? Oh. Oh. I mean, there's so many. It was such an impressionable time too for us. We were just, you know, really starting out and babies. And when I met Catherine the first time, I felt it felt familial. It was like family, you know. And we had so much fun. It was we my had... first movie. Oh my gosh! I know. I'll never forget being like. First of all, a I was like, that's a movie star. <laughs> and second of all, I was like, she's so normal and so cool and so just the best. Oh, like the yeah. best. We just became like, it just felt like, I just always was like, Kate Hudson is a miracle. That was like the thing I would always say to people when anyone asked me about you because I was like, I just think she's a miracle. And then just to come full circle and just see her freaking kill it, pardon my French, freaking kill it in this movie. It's like <laughs> just, not literally, there's no spoilers, but maybe, who knows? <laughs> maybe, dum dum dum. We don't know, nobody knows anything. Any questions? Alibari. <laughs> Uh, that has a kick. Oh my god, what happened? Oh, holy sh- It's just so thrilling. Just thrilling. So anyway, just all just... Oh, babe, I feel the same about Catherine. Just so, it's just really the best. That movie was really big. Like, really big. You know what's Huge. fun? You know what's fun about How to Lose a Guy? My son is now off and running in college. Which I can't and believe. Which is so crazy. And in the movie, it didn't even still, exist when with now the new generation, they're now discovering the movie. And so all of the kids in college are like, I love How to Lose a Guy. And I'm like, this is, this movie just keeps going. <laughs> Isn't that? Which is so really nice. Amazing. Yeah. It is. Because we also had so much fun. I mean, we had a great time. Filming. Yeah, we did. I will say I couldn't find the exact dress, but my prom dress was inspired by the Andy <laughs> Oh! Dress. It was yellow. Oh, it was pretty iconic. And I didn't think that dress could be topped, but I do have to say the birdie dress is. Uh, uh, there's a lot of birdie. The fashion lottery. That yeah, shout out to movie. Jenny Egan, the I mean, costume the, designer. Jenny, I mean, we when I walked into the fitting, which was probably a very different experience than you had. I'm, I'm what do you mean? I'm, sorry. I'm <laughs> thrilled about my beige. I, <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and I laughed, like I walked in and it was just like someone had thrown just like colors and prints and sparkles Fabrics. and hats all over the fitting room. And then Catherine had like a rack of beige. I it was just like beige. <laughs> and then just like, it was like flat. a pencil dress. Yes. A beige one piece bikini. I mean, ba- not even bathing. Oh, <laughs> bikini? No. A robe. Tanks. Oh, it was so funny. Yeah, it was very but funny. this is why Knives Out, clearly the first one, you had oh. all these costumes. Moments and then Jenny Egan just brought it again. She's Amazing, just unbelievable. I mean, Daniel's oh. Daniel's costumes in this movie are like on another level. Even his like I don't know if it's a swimsuit or what, but I love it. Is a oh. oh that is a swim on, on yeah that's an un- a swim <laughs> ensemble. <laughs> The swim, yeah right a swim creation. moment swim creation. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a murder and the killer is in plain sight for at least one person. This is not a game. So Catherine, in the movie, you attempt the Benoit Blanc accent. Sure. Have you been able to nail it since then? Can either of you do it? Benoit Blanc. No, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> uh, remember how I was... <laughs> please, please turn that into a meme. I... <laughs> that was amazing. I can't do it either. Come on, Kate, no, try. No, I'm gonna try it. Um, yeah, try. Benoit Blanc. Ooh, that's good. Like he sort of has a way about how he moves his it's mouth. Math, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> right. It was like, oh, you insufferable oh. buffoon. <laughs> You're all friends. Why would anyone commit murder? Are we even going to talk about the elephant in the room? Am I the elephant? Yeah. You're the elephant. You're not that bad. Which of your cast members would you entrust to hide a body with you? I mean, I kind of trust almost everybody. No, yeah, no, this cast is, I feel like we as an ensemble would work so well together to, I would trust this group. But I feel like I'd I'd go to you first. Yeah, no, yeah. I would immediately. There's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Who would you let tweet from your phone for an entire week? Leslie. Oh, yes. Class, class act. He is. Daniel s- is absolutely not. <laughs> no! 
Daniel would be a devout. You'd be like, oh my god, you ruined my entire Wait, does, career. I don't even think he ha does. He even have Twitter? He no, but have, he would have yeah, so no. much fun. He would have so going to much town fun. On Twitter. I would, yeah. Exactly. I don't, I don't, I'm not on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? No, I'm on nothing. Oh, that's right. What's that like? I'm just like. I know. I know. Probably fantastic. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. Living I mean, your best life. Yeah, but I lurk around. I'm, I mean, you know. Do you have uh, like a stuff? No, a I don't have a Finsta. Finsta. Someone just. I, I mean, how late am I to that party? I don't have a Finsta. And I have one now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, fake Instagram. It's a fake Instagram that you can kind of like use right. to see. I don't have that. That would be fun yeah, because do. then I can look at people's Instagram. Yeah, you snoop. Yeah. Both your characters have such distinct personalities. Did you base them on any? real life person. Not for me. Yeah. You know, I mean, I d definitely, Birdie, I mean, even though I'm sure a lot of people will see kind of someone they know or an idea of something in Birdie, for, for me it was just really, I mean, he wrote, I wanted to bring what I could bring to what Ryan put on the page and not kind of complicate it with trying to think about someone else. I feel like she's an amalgamation of people that I've. Yeah, and, I mean, to be honest, unless I'm playing someone who's like a real life person, I'm kind of like that with, I don't want any references. It's mm -hmm. like, writing music but like listening to other people's music while you're writing music. Yeah. It feels a little bit like you stay out of that, you know, so you can bring something new.